Waffle snacks? <laughs> Strength is not about being unbreakable. It is about being malleable. It is about bending, adapting, and adjusting to everything life throws at you. Strength is about choosing to form a backbone with what little you have. It is about choosing to stand still and face your truth instead of running from it. It is about opening the floodgates to your heart, letting the storm of emotions enter, and embracing yourself for impact, knowing that somehow you'll find a way to survive. Strength is, and always, will be about reminding yourself that there will be a tomorrow. But still, being brave enough to face today. By Mel Eve. for this one this morning. Mm. What's up, kitties? So I'm pretty sure if you kitties have been with us for a while, you kitties know that we hustle a lot. And even when we meet our friends, a lot of them ask us like, how do you guys do all of that? Like, how do you guys stay so productive? How do you guys balance your life and work? And I think part of the credit has to go to the Notion. And speaking of Notion, this video is sponsored by Notion. So we were introduced to Notion last year and it's such a great place for you to organize your life and work responsibilities. You can actually add another account so that you can switch between your personal and work accounts separately. But honestly, we do not need a separate account because our life literally revolves around work but it's a great tool if you want to optimize the balance between your life and work being self-employed is really important for me to not only have my schedules organized but pretty much everything related to work organized to stay on track before knowing notion i just used to write things on a random piece of paper and i'll organize my schedule on this really thick ass calendar binder and i will literally take a photo of my calendar before i head out just in case i need to check my schedule when i'm outside and it was really inconvenient so this is our notion workspace and on the left side is where all the magic happens so this is our monthly calendar where we organize pretty much everything both work and life i especially love this calendar template because i can see all of my monthly schedule in just one page you can also change the template and see your monthly schedule in a different template too next we have a weekly task where we go a little more in depth of our weekly plan so this morning I filmed making breakfast and now I'm filming this notion and you can also easily move your tasks to different days by simply click and drag. Yes, I have a shopaholic wish list.
Miss Cuties. <clears throat> it's something that motivates me to work. When I find something on the internet that I really want to get in the future, I will list them here including the price category and link to it. And actually listing my wish list kind of helps me with monitoring my spending. Okay, so what else should we have a look? Oh, Photoshop mini film schedule is where we organize our social media contents like photos and reels. And if you click this little square icon with the word open, a side peek pops where you can write further details about the project. Other than that, I keep a record of rental studio expenses, awesome cooking recipes that I found, our future DIY projects, and list of studios we have been eyeing on. You can also add members so that you can share your Notion page with other people. So Kujin and I are able to share this Notion workspace together. Awesome. And you can also leave a comment or live chat with others in the workspace to discuss about something. So through the Notion, we would organize our filming and editing schedule, find the studio's location that we want from our list, outline and discuss the filming concept. Then we will go to the studio and film our content and produce the final content. So Notion is a great way to shape your idea and schedule for you to move forward. So if you just want to get started for free and create a new team workspace or invite a team member to a Notion page, make sure to click the link in the description box below. It's free kitties! And thank you so much Notion for entering our life. Okay cuties, so hear me out. I'm here to spill some tea about my hair. <laughs> well, first of all, it's not sponsored cuties. It's, it's just me sharing the goodies to our cuties. Yeah. Because, oh my god. <laughs> so during the Singapore meet and greet, so many cuties were asking like, my hair is my so hair luscious so and luscious pretty and, and what's the secret? Why are you so <laughs> mean? <laughs> I'm a good uncle, so I gotta share my goodies with our tongs and cuties, <laughs> right? <laughs> There's not really a huge secret to it, cuties, but I'll just share what I use for my hair after I wash my hair. First of all, they say scalp needs to be really healthy in order for your hair to be glossy, okay? That's why we started investing on this Labio 8 Scalp Skin Lab. So how we use is that right after we wash our hair, we just spray this close to our scalp and then what? Like, like, like. And then right after that, so this is a hyaluronic acid hydrating hair treatment, which is basically a serum for your hair. It calms down your freeziness, and it's basically like a hydration serum for your hair. So right after this, I put this all over my wet hair like this. And then after that, Healing Bird Ultra Protein No Wash Ample Treatment. So it's kind of like an ample slash oil. So I just spray it all over like... So sometimes I use this, but then sometimes I use a Functional Beauty Hair Serum. So I kind of alternate between these two. That's pretty much it. And then we always, always make sure, although these hair are not dry, we make sure our scalps is dry. And one thing really important is that when you're using like hair iron or straightener, make sure to use a heat protector. Captain Jose actually got this for us, which is a Vitris Cuticle Coat Heat Protect. So we use this one. And that's pretty much all it. Jeez, there's nothing much. Okay. So yeah, cuties, I'm gonna curl my hair today. I think it's been like several years that I curled my hair and went out. So I'm gonna do it today. It's about that time. Here goes a long journey. Ha! <gasps> This is this is gonna be ah! <laughs> to the front side. Oh my god, you look like a dog! And make sure to go and spray your hair, okay, sisters? Because outside it's very damp and humid, so it's gonna, it's gonna go gonna flat. flat. Okay, we gotta, we gotta keep those clothes. Keep We're gonna keep those babies up, okay? Up, up, up. <laughs> Pouch for my kitties. Notebook for my kitties too. Chocolate for my kitties. Whoa!
This is my gorgeous sister's outfit of the day. She looks so fabulous. Her two-piece set is from Korean brand called Misua Barb. Is it hot though? No. And her bag is from our cutie. Yeah, and she decorated herself with all these gems from cuties also. And her necklace and her ring is from our cutie from Singapore. He has a brand called Ozo. So pretty. Love the silver. And her hair clip is also from our cutie from Singapore. Gorgeous. And her shoe is from Ami Paris. Collab with Puma. So dungarees is from Days Days. We actually wore this at Pocket, right? Yes, these are all the gems from our cuties bag is from opening ceremony her shoe is converse from farfetch The way they package it is really pretty. Oh, oh my god! The packaging aesthetic on point! to Chuan's Shopaholic segment! <laughs> oh my god, another one? <gasps> and these are all handmade, so literally when we chose this one, she put like two or three of them and then say like, which design do you want? Yeah. Because all of them are handmade, so the design is slightly different. So it's kind of like a one of a kind. There's nothing similar to this that other one could be able to. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> and how much was this? How much was this? It's freaking yeah. expensive. There's actually a bigger version. This is a mini version, oh. but the bigger version was nearly 6,000 won. It was 8,000 won. <gasps> so what are you going to use that for, sister? I just don't get it. Um, uh, you know how I love using like incense stuff? Like incense stick, sister? Yeah. And then every time I do incense stick, I need to light a match, right? And like, oh, where do I put this match? I can't put it on a desk. The desk's gonna get like a, a burnt hole. I can't put it in my pocket. It's hot. So I'm gonna put it right here. Scissors, seriously! <laughs> <laughs> Just put it in the trash can!
Whoa. So on the latest episode of Strange Attorney Wu, is that how you say it in English? I need to touch you in order to know if I like you or not. Um, hello, is that a police? <laughs> Donggrami was making this kimbap for Yangu and we were like, we gotta make that. Was this easier than the original kimbap? Of course, way much easier. And it requires less ingredients than the actual round one. Not really? And you don't really need the skill of rolling it. <laughs> so this is like a really easy version of it. Mmm. Mmm. It's like kimchi fried rice. Mm. It's mm. been a while since we ate kimchi. Mmm. Mm. Mission accomplished. What is plus like? Basket is for my cutest from Singapore. She put a bunch of goodies inside here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I didn't throw this box because I knew where I'm gonna use this. <laughs> <laughs> Like my sister. I call you Froggy. Wow! Do I want to use this? Mm -hmm. So that was Kijin's favorite. Yeah, this is my favorite. I love it. This is gonna grow like a tree size. Yeah, after a hundred years. When you pass away, I'll bury you right beside your grave, bitch. <laughs> Shopaholic segment. So if you guys remember our last collaboration with Farfetch, I got this ballerina shoe for Kijin and it was too big. So I returned it and instead of that shoe, I just got another bag, a tote bag. So, so here you go cuties, opening ceremony. Whoa! Whoa. This is so pretty. Whoa. I didn't thought it was this kind of textured. Mm -hmm. Almost like a crinkled lunchbox paper. Okay, mine. Is it mine? You returned my shoe to get another stuff. I spent on the website one hour trying to find the bag. So I took the ideas are first it and I took the, the time to pack it back and send it. Did you do it? No, I did it. So it should be mine first. It's a morning, sister. It's morning! <laughs> Chili crab. Pop potato snack. Morning. By the way, cutie, these are all gifts from our cuties from Singapore, but we're sharing with Captain Jose. Because yeah. sharing is caring. Oh. Some juices. Woo. Some noodles for Captain Jose. Some crackers and candy. He drinks a lot, I think. So, yeah. so this could be a good side snack. Yes. Boom. We also got a case if I case for Captain Jose. This is his initial. Oh my god, I'm so thoughtful. Uh -huh. Cutie. Oh. 
사람인데 더 좋다는 거야. 빨리 빨리. So if you curious want to get your hair done, make sure to check Lumio Beauty House. And if you curious to mention QQ Twins, Captain Jose will be happy to give our cuties 30% discount on anything. Yes! My sister looks so gorgeous today. Wow. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. So both of our top and bottom is from this Korean designer brand called Havik. It's actually our friend. She's a designer. This is the pants. It's so cool for summer. Yeah, it has a lining inside too. And her shoes is from Love Moschino. And her bag is from Opening Ceremony from Farfetch. And her necklace is from our cutie. The rings are also from Oh, the cutie. rings are also from our cuties. So this is Kijin outfit of the day. Her top is from Core. And her pants is from Yes Style. You look really polished. This is great for like event look too. I love this pants. Shoe is a collaboration between Ami and Puma. Her bag is from Rose And look at her jewelry. All of her jewelries are from Cuties. Yes. Do with me, bitch. Do with me. No! So what are we getting is this? A new make you don't Trying to find some peace of mind Tonight I feel so low again Alone again to me, while the brightest star in the sky, oh, why do we cry? Why do we cry? Sorry. Oh, where's my manner? Oh my goodness. Didn't you set up the camera there? <laughs> so two of our cuties dropped these gifts to Captain Jose Lumio Beauty House. So we picked it up today. I wanna say thank you so much, today. I think Lumio Beauty House is kind of becoming our P.O. boss. We got this one from Barbara. She's from Australia. And the thing is, like, she has a business account called Shark Aquarium where she draw an ocean with a seawater. And 20% of her income, she donates to the NGOs to protect the ocean. That is so amazing. And I checked her account. Her drawing is amazing. So make sure to check her out, cuties. Thank you so much, Barbara. Oh my goodness. And welcome to Korea. And Barbara drew this bee because it reminded of us because we're always so busy. These waffle snacks. I think we have this in Korea too. And she got us this pumpkin seed oil so we can eat it with our salad. That is so thoughtful. Thank you so much, Barbara. So this one is from Bettina, all the way from Hungary. Oh my goodness. And she actually moved to Korea. So welcome to Korea, Bettina. I hope Korea is treating you very, very well. The thing is like she started watching us ever since we did a fashion DIY in the United States. So that's amazing that you're still here with us. So this one is Sauce Palita. She said this is like their version of Pepero but is saltier and it's great to eat with sour cream. It's a honey flavored green biscuit. Ooh. Looks delicious. Yeah, and these are rum flavored chocolate bar. Wow. Rum. And these are okay. When I first touched this, it was like so slimy Squishy. and I'm like, what do you see? <laughs> chocolate cover sweet cottage cheese bar. They're so smushy. They have like an apricot thing here. <gasps> oh, okay, okay. They kind of melted. It looks like this, kitties. Mmm! 
Mmm. Mmm. So inside there's an apricot jam covered with cheese, covered with chocolate. Doesn't taste like cheese at all. Oh, it's actually good. Mmm. Thank you so much, Patina. This is a gift from my cuties from Singapore and she handmade it. Look at this. So pretty. It's from Esther and Elizabeth. I'm gonna write a love letter to our cuties. From Kitties, from Singapore.
you may believe that living life to the fullest is seeing every country in the world, and quitting your job on a whim, and falling recklessly in love. But it's really just knowing how to be where your feet are. It's learning how to take care of yourself, how to make a home within your own skin. It's learning how to build a simple life you're proud of. A life most fully lived is not always composed of things that rock you awake, but those that slowly assure you it's okay to slow down. That you don't always have to prove yourself. That you don't need to fight forever or constantly want more. That it's okay for things to be just as they are. And when those big moments come, which they will, you'll feel them in a way you couldn't before. You'll experience them in a way you didn't before. You'll appreciate them because you'll be able to fully be in them. Little by little, you'll begin to see that life can only grow outward in proportions to how stable it is inward. That if the joy is not in the little things first, the big things don't fully find us. Brianna Wyest.